Hello family, it's your girl Serenity Rose and we're back with another video. And if you guys saw the title, then you guys know that I am doing a updated makeup collection video for the year of 2020. I plan on doing one every year in the beginning of the year. So if you guys want to see what my collection looks like as of now, then just keep on watching. Okay, so starting off with the top, I have my brushes over here. They're nicely separated. I got this acrylic or organizer. I got this acrylic organizer from Marshalls for like 10 bucks, I think. I have them separated by blending brushes, flat shader brushes, some super small brushes, and then bigger brushes in the center right here, like powder and bronzer brushes, and then smaller, bigger brushes, like blush and powder brush. I don't know. It's just small, big brushes over there. And then over here... I have this acrylic organizer I got from eBay. I want to say it was less than 20 bucks. I have my serums up here. I have the Kuiper Serum, something from Shea Moisture, and then that is from LMS. And then I have a Bite Beauty lipstick there and a mini beauty blender, like, brush cleaner. Two sharpeners there, some random stuff in that little drawer. And then I have two ColourPop lipsticks two Milani lipsticks, I have a Morphe lipstick back here, a Ipsy Times Betty Boo collab, Anastasia, um, Ulta Beauty, Maybelline, and then BH Cosmetics. And then in this drawer, I have my glosses. So I have a something from Ipsy, uh, Makeup Revolution. Makeup Revolution, this is like a plumping lip gloss, super good. Essence, Shine Shine Shine, also really good. Color Pop, Color Pop, Color Pop. Um, this is from Iconic London. These two are from Ulta Beauty, my favorite lip gloss formula to date. And this one is from Dominique Cosmetics, also really good. And then in this drawer, I have my liquid lipsticks and some bullet lipsticks that don't fit up here. So I'm not going to take this out, but I have some Live Glam, Buxom, The Balm, Wet n Wild, NYX, Makeup Revolution, Mellow Cosmetics, Avon, Maybelline, Revlon, L'Oreal, uh, BH Cosmetics, Smashbox, Lorac, or Lorac. And that is what is on top of my makeup system storage thing. Let's get into the drawers. Okay, so in my first drawer, I have my setting sprays, setting powders, loose and pressed, moisturizers, and then primers. So in primers, I have the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I have the Makeup Revolution Pore Blur Primer, really good. I have this one from Avon, uh, Touch and Soul No Pore Blum Primer. I have this one from Juice Beauty, also really good. I have the Maybelline Master Prime, something from Knots, whatever that is. And then the L'Oreal Lumi Magic Lumi Primer. And then for moisturizers, I have this Pixie Skin Treats H2O Skin Drink, really good, one of my favorite moisturizers ever. I have this Olay Whip Total Effects Broad Spectrum Moisturizer. Also... I have this Olay Serum Stick. I got them in a Vox box from Influencer. I have this H2O Beauty Oasis Hydrating Treatment. I basically use it as a moisturizer. I have this Makeup Revolution Hydration Boost Gel, also really good. Uh, I have this Pons Cream. It's basically for dry skin, but it works for me, and I'm almost done. Super really Super good. It gives your skin a nice luminosity. I have the 4th Ray Beauty Good Mood Gel Moisturizer. This is another favorite of mine. And then I have this Dove Beauty Cream. I got this from Dollar General for a dollar. Just in case I want to do like a dollar makeup challenge, I have this, but I don't really like it. So for setting sprays, I have the Iconic London... A prep set glow spray it does have like shimmer in it because it's laying down it's just settling but once you shake it it gets all like pretty I have the Mac fix plus spray and the rose scent really really good I love the mist on this 
I have the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is my favorite setting spray. This stuff sets your makeup in place for like ever. I have this Pearlescence Coconut and Rose Makeup Setting Spray. I got this from TJ Maxx for $5.99. Really nice mist on this as well. I have Makeup Revolution. This is the Rose Fizz uh, Fixing Spray. Super good to set down powder. I have the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I have two Elf Dewy Setting Mist. Um, I have another Makeup Revolution one. This is the Cherry Truffle one. It smells horrendous. I have the Pixie uh, Glow Mist. Really good. And then I have another setting spray from Marshalls that I got for $3.99. Really, really good. So for setting powders, I have the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage powder foundation and 332 golden this is really good from the drugstore i have the becca hydra mist set and refresh powder this stuff feels like water i have a backup i have the la girl pro face hd powder this stuff is like a filter and a powder i have the mac studio fix plus powder foundation this stuff is amazing. It is super full coverage. I have the Maybelline Loose Setting Powder in Light Medium 20. This is a bit too light, so I only use this where I put concealer. I have two of the Maybelline Fit Me Pressed Powders. One is in 332 and one is in 320. 332 matches me way better. I have the ColourPop No Filter Sheer Pressed Powder. Really good. I have this rice powder from Palladio, also really good. It's a dupe for the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Let's see if I get this stuff out. So here I have the Elf Sheer Tint Finishing Powder. I have the Makeup Revolution uh, Medium Yellow Loose Setting Powder. Too light for me, but I still like it. I have the Pretty Vulgar, uh, the Powder Room Matte About It, Translucent Setting Powder, really good. I have, of course, Laura Mercier, this is just the translucent one. I have a I Love Revolution uh, Chocolate Banana Powder, it is scented and this is a really good powder. I have the Collab Ultra Fine Loose Setting Powder in Sand Beige. This powder is bomb. This is my favorite setting powder ever. And then I have the AOA Studio Perfect Finishing Press Powder in 158 Honey. This stuff is really good too. This leaves you nice and matte, but it doesn't look dry, but it just looks really, really good. So that is everything that I have in my first drawer. And yes, it is pretty packed already, but I am happy with it and I use practically every single product in here. So this is my second drawer. I have foundations, concealer, and then like lip scrubs and lip moisturizers. So I have the Anastasia foundation, the NYX Born to Glow, Believe Beauty, Avon, Maybelline, Wet n Wild. I have two different shades, but Caramel matches me perfectly. L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation, super good, just not my shade. Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin. The Elf Flawless Finish Foundation. I have the CoverGirl Healthy Elixir Foundation. Um, this foundation from AOA. Uh, L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I have the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Mas uh, Mascara, the Pretty Fresh Foundation. Um, I have another shade coming because this one's too light. The CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation, Makeup Revolution, Fenty Beauty, Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate, and then LA Girl Pro Matte, and then a foundation mixing pigment from LA Girl. And then for lip balms, I have this ColourPop Lippy Balm, and then... I have the Chapstick Total Hydration Night Serum, super good. Lip scrubs, I have this one from ColourPop. This one is in By The Bushel. This one tastes really good. Not that you're supposed to eat them, but it does get in your mouth and it's 
uh, prefer that it tastes good. I have the Milani Keep It Sweet Sugar Lip Scrub. As you can see, I'm almost done with this. And I have the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask, which is pretty old. I'm probably going to declutter that eventually. So for concealer, I have three of these. I have three different shades of the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer, but my perfect shade is Latte 375, but this is one of my favorite drugstore concealers. I have the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, super good full coverage concealer. Then I have the e.l.f. Uh, HD Concealer in Medium. I have the BH Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer. This stuff is like full, full coverage. In the shade 103, I think. No, 106. It's a bit too late for me. I have the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer in 100W, which is medium. I have the Milani Conceal and Perfect, the Maybelline Age Rewind, the CoverGirl True Blend. Undercover concealer. This stuff is really good too. I have the shade M100 Warm Nude. Um, I have the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. The NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. This stuff is really, really creamy and full coverage. LA Girl Pro Conceal. Uh, AOA Studio. Morphe Fluidity or Morphe Fluidity Concealer and then the Makeup Revolution Super Size Conceal and Define Concealer in C10.5. This stuff is really, really good. So that is everything that I have in my second drawer. Again, I know it's a bit excessive, but I like to review makeup and play with it 24 7, so I am okay with this. So in my third drawer, I have highlighter, blush, bronzer, and then face palettes in the back or oversized highlighters. So for highlighter, I have this ColourPop Disney Collection in Horse and Carriage. It is super pretty. I have two from AOA Studio. This is their Velour Mousse Highlighter. This one broke. Super annoying, but these are really, really good and look wet on the skin. I have this Daisy and Pearl or Seraphine Botanicals highlighter. Really, really pretty, but I think it like went dry or something because when I first tried it, it was a bit more blinding. I have the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Vanilla Quartz. This highlighter is super pretty and I love the print and the actual highlighter. I have the AOA Studio Perfect Pressed Highlighter in Lavish. Also really pretty. I have the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in Molten Gold. And a Wet n Wild Loose Highlighter in I'm So Lit. So for blush, I have this mini blush from Tarte in Kisses. It's a really pretty color. It just has some sheen to it, so not my favorite. Uh, Dome Beauty in the shade English Rose. This is a really pretty color. A Space Case Blush in the shade Cosmic Gangster. Also really pretty. Hey, this is a highlighter. This don't go here. Well, I have this Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter in Champagne. And this is one of my favorite highlighters. I have this Ciate London Marbled Light. It's a blush in the shade Burnt. And I got this in my BoxyCharm, if I'm not mistaken. Really pretty color. I have the Laura Geller Baked Blush in Brighton and Tropic Hues. Also really pretty. Rimmel Maxi Blush in Rendezvous. One of my favorite blushes ever. Uh, this Ofra collab with Madison Miller in Blush or in Sweet Stuff. Also really pretty and super big pan. I have the Elf Blush in Mellow Mauve. Um, this has like a really weird shift to it, but nevertheless pretty. I have the Anastasia Blush Trio in Pool Party. This stuff is, this is one of my favorite high-end blushes. I have the Balm Bare Minimum. It's a blush slash single shadow, but I prefer to use it as a blush. I have Steve Laurent Blush and I'm Blushing. Really pretty. I love these types of colors for blush. And then I have the Phase Zero Makeup Making Moves blush. 
Also, really pretty color. Also, I have this liquid highlighter from Cover FX. This is their Glitter Drops. I really use this on the eye, so I just leave it in here. So now for bronzer, I have this stick bronzer from AOA Studio. And then I have the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour Stick. I have this one from Crop Beauty and Tanneries. Really, really pretty. I have this AOA Perfect Blush in the shade Fino, but it's too light for a blush, so I use it as a bronzer. I have this bronzer from W7 in Honolulu, and it's supposed to be a dupe for the uh, Benefit Hula Bronzer. Super, super good. I have the NYX bronzer in deep and this is a bit too deep for me so i can only really use this when i'm tan the bh cosmetics brilliance bronzer and coco cutie i freaking love this stuff super super pretty i have the anastasia bronzer in rich amber my favorite high-end bronzer i have the nars laguna bronzer i want to say this is like their something diffused wash bronzer but the print on this is amazing i have this wet and wild color icon bronzer in ticket to brazil and this stuff is just too shimmery for me so i don't really use it again i have the wet and wild color icon bronzer and bikini contest i really use this as a setting powder uh, i have the essence matte bronzing powder in O2 Sunny, again, too light. And then my favorite affordable bronzer is from Makeup Revolution. And this is their mega bronzer and O2 Warm. Like, look at this freaking pan. Super, super pretty. So for the back portion of this drawer, I have highlighter, bronzer, you know, big face palettes or super sized highlighters. So I have this Makeup Revolution highlighting palette in Ignite and oh, this stuff is gorgeous you should definitely look into it super pigmented and blinding then i have this wonder beauty trip for two blush and bronzer duo again super pretty one of my favorite blush bronzer duos ever then i have this super sized makeup revolution uh highlighter from their skin kiss line and champagne kiss i got it from marshall's for 2.99 and i don't like it I have the Morphe 8L Lo-Fi Bronzer and Highlighting Palette. Super pretty. I can use every shade in here, so I love that. I have this BH Cosmetics Spotlight Highlight Palette. Comes with six huge pans of highlight, and these are intense. And this is super affordable. I got mine for like 10 bucks on a sale. Then I have this Too Faced uh, highlighter. I think it's like their diamond highlighter in Fancy Pink Diamond. Um, it's not the blinding, like the most blinding highlight, but it's super pretty, so I'm definitely keeping. I have this Soul uh, body highlighter, and the pan on this is huge, and you can use it on your face, but I definitely prefer it on the body. This is in the shade Warm Gold. I have this blush palette from BH Cosmetics. It comes with four blushes, really pigmented. I have this Laura Geller Glow For It Trio. And it comes with three of her highlighters, Champagne Toast, Starstruck, and Golden Gleam. Really, really pretty. I have this NYX highlighter and bronzer palette. And it comes with three highlighters and then two bronzer shades. I use this to contour because it is way too dark. And then I have the Koki Cosmetics Powder Contour Palette, which is really, really good. I can use all of these shades. These as like setting powders and then bronzer contour shades. Super, super good. So that is everything in my third drawer. And these white containers I got from Target for like two bucks. And then this clear one I got from Marshalls for like three bucks. So onto the fourth drawer. So in my fourth drawer, I have my brow products, liners, lip liners, mascaras, and on the side, I have my backups. So I have a backup of my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, a backup of the Pretty Fresh Foundation, even though that's not my shade. 
a backup of my favorite lash glue and a backup of my favorite eyebrow pencil a backup of my favorite lip liner from makeup revolution and glory and a backup of the hydra mist uh setting powder and a ulta beauty concealer so over here i'm not gonna go into too much detail because there's just a lot but i'll just mention a few products i have the brow bar by rima brow kit it comes with two powders and a concealer really good and this one's in dark i have a mellow cosmetic setting or brow gel benefit billion dollar brows elf aoa studio la girl color pop this is my favorite brow pencil um essence what is this one cover girl la colors a whole bunch of different stuff in here and then for eyeliners i have formal essence la girl color pop their cream gel liners are bomb um la color smashbox and this is my favorite felt tip liner from Hank and Henry. Mm, I have Ciate Jante Blue. Um, I have a bunch of random liners that I like. And then for lip liners, I have a bunch of random brands as well. I have Wet n Wild, Colourpop, Makeup Revolution, La Masca, Jante Blue. Milani, NYX, Maybelline, Wet n Wild, a whole bunch of random ones, but I try to stick to nudes. I have like a couple of reds, a couple of pale nudes, but I really like brown liners. For mascara, I have the Essence Lash Princess Mascara, uh, Grande Cosmetics Grande Drama Mascara, Milani Highly Rated, W7 Showing Out, and then the ColourPop BFF Mascara in black on black these are all really good except for the w7 ones okay so that is everything i have in my fourth drawer and i got these white containers from walmart and this clear one from marshall's so this drawer is constantly changing because i keep new products in here that i need to try and then they get filtered into the rest of the system but mainly this is like lashes and tools and then on occasion new products that i need to try so these go on my skincare drawer. I'm not sure why they're in here, but these are from Target. They're exfoliating cut arounds. These are really, really good. Um, this is all new stuff I need to try. I have a new buxom blush I need to try. A new blush brush, a new lip gloss. I really want to try this e.l.f. hydrating concealer. A Saturday skin moisturizer that BoxyCharm finally sent to me. In the back, I have more bigger like packs of lashes or bulky packaging. I have like Ardell, Eyelore, um, Dye Silk, um, Lashaholic Lashes, um, what are these, what are these ones, um, Ardell Wispies, more Ardell Wispies, and on this side I have the majority of my lashes, I still need to try those, but these are from Shop Missy, I stocked up on my favorite lashes which are in the style Elidia, and I got two more styles that I need to try, which is Melissa and Jessica. And then over here, I have some of like my other lashes that I like. Their packaging, I have like Dota lashes. These are from Daisoka as well. Kiss. Um, their cherry lashes. I have like some little tools like eyelash curler, razors, eyebrow shapers, uh, tape powder puffs that I never use, mini mirrors, and like little scissors and stuff. So that is what is in my fifth drawer. So in my sixth drawer, I have single shadows here, eyeshadow bases. This one's from Makeup Revolution, and then this one's from Essence. These are both really good. I have a bunch of single shadows I'm not going to get into, and then my eyeshadow palettes. So I'm not going to go through these all because I have quite a bit. I'll just name some. I have Laura Lee Los Angeles, Storybook Cosmetics, um, Ace Beauty, Dominique Cosmetics, Violet Voss, Anastasia, Morphe, Face Candy, another Ace Beauty palette. This one was just in BoxyCharm. Really pretty palette. ColourPop, Tarte, uh, Wet n Wild, Juvia's Place. 
I have like a Z palette, two big Morphe palettes, Pretty Vulgar, and then Makeup Revolution. And I have three Juvia's Place palettes, and um, these are all really good. They're all like nine pan shadow palettes, and look at look at the colors on these. Just freaking gorgeous. I think this is my favorite uh, eyeshadow formula along with ColourPop. So yeah, super, super pigmented and really pretty colors i also have the bare necessities palette coming i cannot wait so that is everything in my sixth drawer let's move on to the last and final drawer in my last drawer i practically just have skincare and some hair care so i have like mask and tubes my sleeping mask this one's from dr brant water or glow recipe over there i have some cleansers this one's from avino this one's from pacifica some mini samples of mask this is my garnier like hair treatment cream thing a whole bunch of face masks and hair masks and then some wipes back here and i keep my rounds in here so that is everything that is everything in my last drawer so i will see you guys in the outro so that brings this video to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my current makeup collection for the year of 2020. And I do uh, plan on expanding slowly but surely because makeup is expensive. But I am completely in love with every single product that I have in my collection, whether I use it or not. If you guys enjoyed, drop a thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys thought. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you guys go. I would love to have you guys join the Rose family and... On that note, I hope you guys are having an amazing day or night, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!